idiot his lock of hair. Welcome back, y'all, for more Bioshock Infinite Burial. Let's see, episode two. Uh, we're gonna get some hair. I just feel like it's your own hair, girl. Your own friggin' hair. Listen, I got you your guns. I'm here for my ass. But my Booker DeWitt died for the Vox Populi. You either an imposter or a ghost. My Booker DeWitt was a hero to the cause. A story to tell your children. <laughs> he has the injured hand. You. Look, are you there? I miss you. Aww. You were the only one who ever. You were my only friend. Booker. I'm not even here. I'm a projection of your own. Could you humor me then? Please. I think Booker would miss you. I'm tearing up a little bit. I still don't think it's gonna end that well for you. Which makes it even sadder. Where did she go? How you reach so sure it was a she. Jesus is ripe in here. Say somebody uh fetch me a millionaire to clean this mess up. Dalla Bell. Comstock promises there's nothing to be worried about. But I don't like the smell of things down in Finkton. Not one bit. If trouble rears its ugly head in the form of one cantankerous negress, I've laid in some supplies in the event of a forced evacuation. They're down in what I call my chamber of panic, near the base of my statue. I've set the code to 8371. 8371, okay. Here I come! Base of your statue, eight Don't think seven. you can hide from me. There is no she here. She does not exist. You never even saw me. How would you even know this is a she? Killed him. That's nice. I'll hunt you down. No, you will not get this way, lassie. <sighs> you can't hide forever, love. Bonk. I think it's all clear. Yeah, it's clear. Daisy sacrificed herself. Set me up to kill her, to, to turn me in, to turn me into what? A killer. <laughs> yeah, well, mission accomplished. I'm no martyr. How did you do it, Booker? How did you- Elizabeth, I'm not Booker. And neither am I. Now, I know no. there's been some concern about the nature of the work we do here at Fink Manufacturing. Why, some say they're uncomfortable with the purported harm and suffering our research brings. But friends, let me pose a simple question. Is there anything you would not do to guarantee the health and safety of your loved ones? My interest is the future health of your children. An ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure.
Where the frick? Ah! Oh, uh, weapon wheel! Okay. I was wondering where, why it kept saying I had full ammo, but I couldn't pick up new stuff. Okay. Just stop with that. Good lord, they're heavily armored. They want you? They gonna have to go through me first. Where she went? Y'all just chill afterwards, huh? What? You gonna answer for this girl? How do you know it's a girl? I tell you, William, it's getting to the foxes are afraid of the hens. If Fink was going to hire a bunch of goons to keep an eye on the handyman, he should have found someone less yellow in the belly. Now they're hiding away from Tin Man invalids in their precious little guard room. If you need to get in there on your shift, the code is 2847. 2847. Just runs out immediately, huh? Hello. Cover some health using iron sights. Sure. I don't use iron sights, but thanks. Regardless. Does he have a helmet? He does. Through you. Wow, this is a strong crank gun, huh? Who did this? Gotta love easy mode. Am I now? Barely killed him. Like double check. It's a. Uh, it's a uh, eight three seven one seven one. Right side, soft mod. Ability to recover some E based on absorb damage. Chong were sharing their research. Like the Lutessas. Cross reality collaboration. It all makes a kind of sense. The little sisters and the big daddies. Songbird and me. Constants and variables. Monkey? What is all this? Imprinting. That's a wire mother. If you separate a gorilla from its real mother, it will imprint on almost anything. Even that. Why would you think you care about that? Songbird. He wanted him to imprint on me. Well, if I recall, that was a problem he solved. What's that? It's a 
skeletal formula for oxytocin. That's the chemical that bonds mothers to children, women to men, and... Songbirds to little girls. Apparently not. Fink dismissed it as an unsuitable vector. What? Ugh. These poor things. Fink couldn't get them to imprint, so he left them to die. I mean, I did, like, ask for, like, a dead dog instead of a dead cat in Bioshock for once, and... Well... Yeah. Imprinting failed. That can't be right. Clearly, they formed a connection between Songbird and me. How? I was so young, I... I always remember him just being there. Oh. Must be a prototype or something. Is it a human? Does it matter? he was in some sort of fight. I waited there thinking, thinking, I, I don't know, that something would happen, but, but he just lay there, moaning. I couldn't just... The line with the thorn in its paw. So much for science. I should have just left him there to die. I should have just... I will never escape it. Exploited, exploiting, me, Comstock, you, Sally. It's like a wheel of blood spinning round and round. How convenient. Well, this must be the genetic sample Su Chong wanted. He sent you all the way back here for a sample of your own hair. He doesn't know I was once the child that imprinted on Songbird. But to him, all the answers lie in DNA. Men like Su Chong mistake an ounce of empathy for a pound of science. Okay, but in fairness, empathy is kind of science. Elizabeth. Time to go back. It's open! See if anything's worth reappropriating. Check for stragglers. Spread out. Something's going on. Would you like a track on the butt button? Ah! It has occurred to me that this breakthrough regarding the songbird casts my arrangement with the Oriental Doctor in a new light. What more could be gained by this continued partnership? What secrets that I could not answer for myself? Su Chong can only offer table scraps, and Jeremiah Fink has richer meat in mind. Oh, oh. 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 
Daisy really even had a choice. What do you mean? Right about now, I'm planting a pair of scissors in her back to protect a child she was never going to harm. She chose to die for her revolution. What about me? For all the endless worlds, all the infinite possibilities, did I ever even have a choice? Did. Look where it got us. Right back where we started. All these infinite universes. And yet we end up just going down the same paths. No, I'll take your meaning. My father sold me to settle a marker. Comstock locked me up in a tower. And I sold Sally for what? Revenge to... Prove a point? And yet, here you are, settling the debt. And say we find her. The old past their damage to the young. Isn't it too late for her now? Well, I'd say that's up to her to decide. Just as coming back here was up to you. Rapture runs on children. Little girls with gold growing in their bellies. I'm not gonna break any cycle. If I'm lucky, Maybe I can dent it. Just a little. What the frick? I ain't gonna get this. So, uh, let's just get this over with. No one's even in here. Yeah. Sounds about right. He <laughs> did he in the exact same spot. Pretty lady has the hair. Deal is deal. Bring it to Su Chong. Okay. Jump into the tear, okay. Pretty lady put hair sample in tube. Then business is finished. What's going on out there? Bloodshed, violence, but not relevant to our arrangement. Su Chong. Su Chong, we had a deal. Now open. Do you know what they call someone who enters a man's home uninvited? A thief. And I do not remember inviting you into my city. I had a deal with Su Chong. Yi Su Chong is my employee. It was not a deal he was authorized to make. What do you want? I granted Atlas and his thugs asylum. You served those same men in a desire to escape from my generosity. If they shall not have asylum, then they shall have liquidation. Give a parasite an ounce of charity. He'll demand a pound. I'm just looking for a girl that was taken from me. A little sister. I don't claim to understand what you are. But I know that you are special. There is business we can do together. And so I give you a choice. Work for me or die with Atlas. I'm not going anywhere without that girl. If it's a little sister you want, that shouldn't stand in the way of commerce. I've got dozens of them. I won't leave without her. My men stand ready to take down the door. In 60 seconds, they will enter the room. They will either treat you as a valued employee of Ryan Industries, 
or as a thief in the night. Uh, well... 60 seconds. There must be half a dozen of them or more. I've got to get ready. With what? Traps. I, I can use them. Traps, okay. Plasmids as traps and then seed the room with them. I gotta find somewhere to hide and surprise them. Take them down one by one. Booker, I'm scared. They'll underestimate you, Elizabeth. People always do. Forty seconds. You know what I see on your face? Uncertainty. Who is this girl to you? Thirty seconds. Do you know the value of the shark? Without them, she would be littered with the detritus of the weak. The men who come for you have much in common with those great animals. What sharks do for the ocean, these men do for rapture. Twenty seconds. I will tell you something you already sense. Atlas does not honor agreements. Andrew Ryan does. I cannot save your Sally. But I can save you. Let's go. There you are. Time. You're not a hero. You're not even a parasite. You're just a room. And Andrew Ryan has no time for rooms. Oh my god, it teleports. I beat your sharks, Ryan. The better man won. Isn't that the only thing you respect? Now let me the hell out of here. Sounds like all hell's breaking loose out there. What's your plan? I can't just place the particle on the ceiling. It would just tear right through it. But every building in Rapture was submerged into the ocean on a lunette ring. Connect Whoops to the junction of its load-bearing supports. That's fascinating and all, but if you haven't noticed, Ryan sent his goons to murder us. If you're gonna pull a rabbit out of a hat, now's the time to do it. Looks like the structural junction is in Frank Fontaine's office. If I can get there, I can float the building. It so happens I've taken that bastard's office for my own use. Of course I'll you make do. sure you've access to the private elevator. Now hurry. Elizabeth, you know Atlas is going to... I know. And I'm ready. Are you sure? I sent myself here for a reason. Didn't I? And who exactly are you speaking to, Miss Comstock? If I were less acquainted with the vicissitudes of genius, I suspect I would question your sanity. I know so little of you, but I imagine the more I learned, the more exceptional I would find you. You know Atlas will betray you. And what are you, my best friend? You're one of a kind in this world, or others. And now, your misguided sense of altruism sends you to your doom. It's like watching Isaac Newton die in a house fire. In a vain attempt to save his cat. Okay, it's safe. So I'm gonna leave this episode here in another cliffhanger. And uh, we'll be confronting, I guess, Atlas or fixing up Fontaine's office or... I don't know what we're doing. We are low on ammo. I shot a lot of people. I should probably use things other than the hand cannon, but it one shot, so I'm probably gonna keep using that at tranquilizer. So, uh, finger, uh, you know, we'll just see if they're lucky they get to live unconsciously, or they just die because headshots because they don't want to fall asleep after one shot. So that's it for now, y'all. Till next time.